Hey everybody, welcome back to Hickory Hill Farm. My name is Daniel Dorn. I'm going to be taking y'all on a short tour, showing y'all how our robotic milkers milk the cows now. We uh, have this facility and these units for three and a half years. These are DeLaval uh, V300 robotic milkers. So let's take a look at how they work. As we come in here, we can see our two units there. We have uh, <clears throat> our first unit up here we call MS1 or milking station one will be there and this one on the right will be milking station two or MS2. These units will show you all kind of different information. This information is showing us how much milk she's given out of each teat that she has. So cows have four teats, if you didn't know, and it will show you right here. She gave 4.1 pounds out of this one. That would be her front right. This would be her front left with 6.9 pounds. Her back left, 8.2 and her back right was 7.3 pounds. And as she's milked, those numbers will, this one will be changing here as she's milking in real time. It is telling us uh, how much milk she's given. So you just saw it change to 4.4. She's almost done milking. All these green uh, graphs right here, those lines tell us that those quarters are finished milking. That quarter just came off, so it will be turning green, there you go. This is the cow's number right here. We have that, and we've got her total amount that she milked, basically from her whole udder. That's that's what she got. You got all four of those numbers up there together, and you get 27.1. So this cow's gonna leave. Let's see, she's gonna take off out the gate. The robotic arm is gonna wash itself. It's actually cleaning the camera right there now. It's cleaning that camera. We got another girl here wanting to come in. So she is all on her, her own there. All these cows are on their own. They come in voluntarily. We don't really have to push them very much to come here. They just come in on their own. So the first thing this thing is gonna do, it's gonna take the, the uh, wash cup you can see there, it's going to wash those cheeks under there. It's going to go to each one with the same cup and wash. And the camera there, in the black housing right up here. That is what's telling the robotic arm where to go. It's using real-time vision to actually see where the teats are located so it knows where to put the cup. As you can see, it goes from one straight to the other. It's gonna come to this one closest to us now, last. There you go, straight up on there. It's not looking around to try to find the teat. It is going straight up on those teats and being as efficient as it possibly can in doing so. So as we pan back over here, we'll see the milking cups. There are four of those, one for each teat. There you go, it's going up and on that. You can see she's already got milk streaming out. That's a sign that that cow is very comfortable in that stall. If she's already letting her milk down that much, that is coming out. See there, you see the milk streaming out. She's a very comfortable cow in there. The telltale sign, when she starts letting her milk down, that oxytocin is flowing, and she is just very happy, very comfortable. As the arm finishes up with the putting on those four teacups, then it's gonna hold the tubes out of the way so she can't lift her leg and really step on them as easily. And then you see her up there again, she's eating. She's eating some of her feed, so that is the first steps of getting this cow milked. And then it's just gonna stay on there for a few minutes. Usually it takes six and a half minutes from the time the cow steps in to the robot until the time that she steps out. So let's cut forward to the end of the milking. All right, we can see here now that the teacups are starting to come off one by one. They will pull up 
into the magazine there. That is their kind of stationary position that they stay in. They'll all end up there in that magazine. The hoses retract up on those rollers. It uses a vacuum to pull those up. And there you go, she comes off, all four will come off there. Now the robot will go back and spray iodine on all four of her teats to protect for, from bacteria. So that cow will leave, the gate will open, and you can already see the you can already see the, ro the robotic arm and the camera coming over here and washing itself, cleaning itself off again. And then the, the front gate will open back up so another cow can come in. So as you can see here, you know, these machines make our lives a whole lot easier, make the cow's lives a whole lot easier. They're happier, healthier, um, and, and just better off all together than they've ever been in this facility. Um, this whole facility was designed with uh, cow comfort in mind. And these cows coming in here like this, letting their milk down like that, you know, getting that little treat in there. If a cow goes into a small space like that, into that stall, willingly on her own, you know that there's nothing but good things in there for her. If there was anything bad, then she would not even come close. So that just tells you how happy these cows are to go in here and be milked. So with that being said, um, again, my name's Daniel Dorn. I appreciate y'all watching these videos. Um, we try to help educate people about where their food comes from. We also bottle our own milk, so we want to put out a great product, but also help educate people about where their food comes from and that these cows are very happy cows. We take care of them and they take care of us. It's a mutual relationship. And so we love our cows and we want the best for them. That's what this facility is all about. That's what these robots are all about. So as you can see there, you know, they love it. So, but thank y'all so much for for watching just be sure to uh like and subscribe spread the word hickory hills got a youtube so thank y'all very much see you on the next one